Hey there friends, it's your friend Arthur again presenting to you another exciting video. Today's video is on the hippopotamus. Ever wondered about the life of a hippopotamus? Today we delve into this intriguing, somewhat adorable yet potentially dangerous creature. The name hippopotamus might sound like a mouthful but it's derived from ancient Greek, where hippos means horse and potamos means river. So, the term hippopotamus essentially translates to river horse. A fitting name don't you think for these semi-aquatic mammals who spend most of their time in water? Now let's talk about their physical characteristics. The hippopotamus is the third largest type of land mammal, only elephants and some rhinoceroses are heavier. Adult males can weigh as much as 3,500 pounds, that's about the same as two small cars. And despite their hefty size these creatures are surprisingly agile on land. They can reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour, faster than most humans can run. Their bodies are barrel-shaped, with wide-opening mouths revealing large canine tusks, and their skin is nearly hairless, thick, and a grayish hue. These features make them easily recognizable and quite unique in the animal kingdom. Another interesting thing about hippos is their eyes, ears, and nostrils are located high on their heads, which allows them to see, hear, and breathe while mostly submerged, a great adaptation for their aquatic lifestyle. And speaking of their lifestyle, these creatures love water. They're excellent swimmers, and can hold their breath for up to five minutes underwater. The water serves as a refuge from the heat during the day, and at night, they venture onto land to graze. Fasten your seatbelts as we're about to embark on a thrilling journey back in time to learn about the history of these fascinating creatures. Imagine a world millions of years ago, a world where the ancestors of our hippo friends roamed freely. Let's take a step back into the mists of time, to around 55 million years ago in the Middle Eocene epoch. This is when the first hippopotamus-like creatures, known as Anthracotherus, began to make their mark. These ancestors of modern hippos were semi-aquatic and more similar in size to pigs than the behemoths we know today. Fast forward a few million years to the Oligocene epoch, and you'd meet the next stage in hippopotamus evolution, the Kenyapotamus. This creature, somewhat larger than its predecessor, is the oldest known genus that shares common traits with the modern hippo. As millennia passed, these creatures continued to adapt and evolve, becoming increasingly suited to a semi-aquatic lifestyle. Their eyes and nostrils shifted to the tops of their heads, allowing them to see and breathe while mostly submerged in water. Their bodies became barrel-shaped, perfect for buoyancy, and their legs grew sturdy and short, ideal for moving through water and over land. Around 8 million years ago, during the Miocene epoch, the two species of hippos we know today, the common hippo and the pygmy hippo, began to emerge. Though they share a common ancestry, these two species diverged in size and habitat, with the pygmy hippo preferring forested areas and being much smaller than its cousin. The hippopotamus has indeed journeyed a long evolutionary road, adapting to changing environments and climates. Their transformation from modest pig-sized creatures to the two-ton giants we see today is a testament to the wonders of nature's adaptability and survival strategies. But it's not just their physical characteristics that have evolved. Over time, hippos have developed complex social structures and behaviors, further ensuring their survival in a world that's constantly changing. From prehistoric times to the present day, hippos have indeed come a long way. But what about their present status? Stick around to find out. Fast forward to the present day, and hippos continue to intrigue us with their unique characteristics and habits. Let's dive into some fun facts and insights about these magnificent creatures. Hippos are herbivores, which means they feast on grasses, fruits, and the occasional bark or twig. Despite their hefty size, they're not big eaters compared to other large mammals. An adult hippo eats about 88 pounds of food a day, which may sound like a lot, but it's only a small fraction of their total body weight. Now, how long does a hippo live? The lifespan of a hippo is quite impressive. In the wild, they can live for up to 40 years, while in captivity, they can reach the ripe old age of 50. That's longer than many other large mammals. Their behavior is another fascinating area to explore. Did you know that hippos can't actually swim? That's right. Despite spending most of their time in water, hippos sink and walk or bounce along the bottom. They're so dense that they can stay submerged for up to five minutes without coming up for air. Talk about a game of hide-and-seek. Hippos also communicate in unique ways. 
They produce a variety of sounds, from grunts and bellows to wheezes and squeals, but their most distinctive sound is a loud honk-honk that can be heard up to a mile away. This is their way of saying, hey, I'm over here. And let's not forget about their incredible jaws. A hippo can open its mouth wide enough to fit a four-foot-tall child inside. But don't worry, they prefer grass to people. Hippos are also known for their blood sweat. While it's not actual sweat or blood, this red, oily substance serves as a natural sunscreen and skin moisturizer, protecting them from the harsh African sun. Hippos are indeed fascinating, aren't they? But are they friendly or dangerous? Stay tuned as we delve into this topic next. Hippos, cute and cuddly or ferocious and fearsome. Let's unravel this mystery. The hippopotamus, while often seen lazily lounging in the water, can be quite deceptive. They're known for their unpredictability and have been involved in human-hippo interactions that didn't exactly end in a friendly handshake. In fact, hippos are often considered one of the most dangerous animals in Africa, owing to their territorial nature and surprising speed both on land and in the water. These hefty herbivores may seem placid but they are fiercely protective of their young and their territory, and they won't hesitate to charge at perceived threats. But don't let that intimidate you. These creatures also have their friendly moments often seen playfully splashing in the water or sunbathing with a bird or two perched on their backs. So there you have it. Hippos are indeed a mix of both friendliness and ferocity. It's always important to respect these majestic creatures from a safe distance. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did and subscribe. Have a lovely day.